So if you follow my channel, you'll know that I make junk journals with my Daphne's Diary magazine once I'm done reading them. Here are a few that I have already created. You can watch for my next one that's coming. I've started to work on a fall Daphne's Diary junk journal and I'm excited to share that with you as well. I've also made other things from the magazine like the banner that is hanging currently above my craft space and today I'm actually just going to flip through the latest magazine. This is number six edition of 2024. It just arrived to me here in Canada. I subscribe to this magazine through Express Mag and it always comes late in comparison to the rest of the world. Seven is just hitting the stores now, but I'm very happy to receive this and I would just wanted to flip through with you today and show you my thoughts as to what it is that I am going to be creating this time. So here we have a little peek preview of everything that you will find in the magazines. And this is beautiful. So this is more of a summer edition, I would say. The next issue will be very fall centered. So this is beautiful here. I have a little lookbook that I created. And in this little lookbook that I made, it's the perfect size for these kind of pictures. And that's probably what I'll do. Here's an example of where I've used things that inspire me. Like if I ever had a cozy little cottage, this is what I would like it to look like. So that is the perfect sort of use for those kinds of images. Happy to see that. A wreath of shells, some yummy looking drinks, some fun ice cubes. This girl would be neat to fussy cut her out. I can definitely see doing that and putting her in one of my junk journals. And she's like the perfect size. She could even be on a cover actually. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so what is this? Up in the clouds in a hot air balloon. Cut them out make a vertical cut oh i see so you can make a mobile or, oh i see so you can make them 3d as well as well as the clouds oh isn't that neat i always cut these out and then i make things with them i've already started fussy cutting some of the items out here's like a perfect example this actually i saved as a, um, a set of towels I got for my birthday from my son. Thought that's perfect. You can actually see using that and like just covering up the words on there. But these are all fussy cut already from this magazine. So I'm actually going to incorporate them into my cover of my next junk journal. And that might be the same for this magazine as well. Ooh, my mother makes jam. This is all the recipes. Ooh, that's beautiful. So you could actually almost even cut these out and glue it to a jar of jam. Mm. And there's the advertisement. So the only advertisement that she has is for her own products. Other than that, the magazine is just editorials, recipes, craft inspiration, examples of other fellow crafters and creators. I really love this magazine. In Canada, $100 Canadian gets me a full year subscription. And they don't come every month, but they come eight times throughout the year. Oh, I like these books. I can see fussy cutting those and that. Isn't that interesting? That's a real more than life size paper straw sculpture. Hmm. Ooh, I like her. 
These are my favorite when she does these Dear Diary entries. I really enjoy reading those. They're usually one of the first things that I read. Oh, I like this. You can spot the differences. So there's games, there's stickers, a ray of sunshine. Do you know which flower Daisy's favorite is? They often have riddles that you have to solve. Oh, interesting. And we learn all kinds of different crafts. Ooh, coloring. I don't know what I will do with this polka dot page, but you could do little stamped images in there or color or draw different designs. Something fun. This, oh, I wanna go have high tea with Daphne. <laughs> I saw her Instagram post with this and doesn't it just look amazing? Their little flower headbands and the beautiful set table all outdoors with the gorgeous treats and there's a closer up version. That's really nice, I like this a lot. And then all the things they did together. Oh, she's a life-size Daphne's Diary magazine in the background there. What is this flower holder? Oh, I see. You can actually use it to hold little flowers. That's nice. Focus on food here Get with some recipes. Ooh, the new 2025 agenda. The agenda is how I first discovered Daphne's Diary at Indigo. And I, it was what made me seek out her magazine. I can purchase the magazine individually from Michaels or Indigo but it's more expensive to purchase them that way than it is to just subscribe. Mm, lots more gorgeous images that will be perfectly fit for my little lookbook here. I have some pages still that need some more filling out. That's cute. Another one of her Dear Diary entries. Oh, this is nice. You can even see just tearing this strip down there. She always has lots of information about recycling or waste aversion projects. Green streets, oh, gardens of Netherlands. It's like traveling the world. When you read these magazines, you get to experience so many different things in so many different places. Look at that cute girl. You could do a junk journal with just a bucket list of places you wanted to go <clears throat> or recipes you wanted to make. All of these little individual images will be beautiful. I can see making a journal just out of these recipes because they're in this format in every magazine. Oh, she's got another project for us here. So you can make a little girl on a stick. Oh, to mark the kind of flower. So it would have to be a potted plant inside because outside they would get wet. This would be a nice vintage junk journal page. Another feature artist and some handmade pottery. Ooh, pretend. This is another series she does, I'm Never Parting With This, and it's always a fun story. Often, I think, submitted by a fellow subscriber. Ooh, painting Croatia. Oh, you can make your own mandalas. That's cute. This has been in every magazine so far. It's like a birthday calendar, so you could take these out and make a whole book just of the months. What is the... 
poster look like this time? Oh, lemons. Beautiful. Another Dear Diary entry. Walking in Italy. Yeah, so that's great. This looks beautiful. Daphne's Diary Advent Calendar. It's on sale right now as of time of posting this video. And you can open up these little boxes and then when you've opened them, you turn them around and then you put them back inside and they don't have the numbers on them. So they have the numbers when you're needing to open it. And there's little crafty paper projects inside. You have washi tape, little tarts for a banner, maybe some ephem ephemera or ribbon. So every day has a different little treat inside and then you have the drawers turn around and then you have a keepsake to store in your craft room. You can make a tissue box. I would probably actually use this for something else because you can just fold this in half and enter it right into your junk journal. Beautiful back page. Oh, oh that's nice. So these are a thin paper too. They're not like a heavy thick cardstock. So to make a, I'm not sure how you make that tissue box, maybe you just glue those on the outside. Book tips, and then we're at the end. So that is everything. If you're interested in seeing any of my projects, I have videos on all of these. You can subscribe if you want to watch for my next video that I'm going to be creating with this magazine, a beautiful fall inspired junk journal. I'm really inspired by the season right now. And if you are interested in any of that, stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.